Remember when we talked about it earlier this week, how you could be out having a great time, everybody's enjoying themselves, uh, the, the mood is right, everything's going really good, but then you got one person in your group, and they just end up being the vibe killer. That was today. It was the other day when we started hearing all this good stuff about the Ravens got something brewing. We knew something big was on the way, uh, but then the report came out, oh, the 49ers, they, they checked in on tra trading for Lamar Jackson. But now that was the past, but now in the present, Today, Lamar Jackson is officially agreed to terms with the Baltimore Ravens on his mega deal, his record-breaking, historic contract without an agent. And we all are on the high off of that. We all are happy. We all celebrating. Everybody's in a great mood. Well, everybody who wanted Lamar Jackson to stay. So most of us, there's some people that's like, Ugh. <laughs> but anyway, that ain't important right now. But this is because we got good news and we got bad news. Um, good news. Again, Lamar Jackson signed his deals. Deals official. Good to go. That's amazing. Um, and now this news I'll put in the middle because depending on how you feel, I don't know how to feel about it. It's like, OK, who could it be for? But uh, let, let, let's just get to it. Um, this is from MJ Hurley, TDT. He said the Packers have been contacted by the Ravens about trading for the 13th pick. That's significant. If that's true, that is very significant. Because for the Ravens to go from 22 all the way up to 13, ooh, that, that, that you would have a price to pay with that one. And you actually might have to start dipping into next year's picks if you're going to pull that off. That's very significant. Now, I'm not sure what, what will be going on with that, like what the reasoning would be or who it will be for. But, hey, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if they actually make the move or it's just a little pre-draft talk or whatnot. Time will tell. Now, that's the uh, I guess that's the middle news, because that could be good news, depending on how you look at it. It could be bad news, depending on how you look at it. It all just depends. But the bad news. This came from Pro Football Talk, Mike Florio. He said, hearing the Cardinals are trying to send the number three overall pick and DeAndre Hopkins to the Titans for the number 11 pick plus more. We just, we just, we, we, we can't, can't have nothing nice, can we? Now, again, it's not official yet, but that's apparently what's happening right now. So that would be heartbreaking for sure. I know for me personally it would be because this would be, if that does happen, if that does go down, this would be the second time right before the draft, right before the draft. That where the Ravens are trying to get DeAndre Hopkins and then everything falls apart at the last second. I, I would be crushed. I'm letting y'all know from jump. Because, well, y'all y'all know already. We ain't got to get into it. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But hopefully, um, Ravens can fix this. Hopefully, Ravens can close the deal. Hey, you, you close the deal on OBJ. Ravens, sh show us again. Show us again. But you got to think, if this is true, that's going to be tough competition right there, man. That's going to be a tough competition because if, if the Cardinals are, would be, if they would be sending the number three pick to, and DeAndre Hopkins to the Titans for number 11 plus more, you got to think they may be dipping in the next year too. But next year, some high picks for next year and some stuff this year too. Because if they're going to go from 11 all the way up to three, oof. That's that's significant right there. Like I, I I'm over here talking about moving from 22 to 13 is significant, and, and it is. I mean that's nine spots, but moving from 11 all the way up to three. I know you are taking on DeAndre Hopkins, so maybe you will uh you will take on his salary as well. Um, but we'll see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Good timing. Good timing. Um, Ian Rappaport. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Look at Ian saving the day. Okay, I, I feel better now. I, I feel a lot better. Ian Rappaport. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I love YouTube. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I, I love this because stuff like this happens. Anyway, Ian Rappaport said, just, literally just now, at 6.02 p.m., he said, while the Titans have had conversations about a potential trade up to number three, among other spots, they have not 
had conversations centered around star wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. Source said yes. All right. So we back on. We back on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, that, that's that's oh that's a big relief. That is a big relief. Of course, anything's possible till it ain't possible no more. But that is a huge relief. Thank you. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna let y'all get back to whatever y'all were doing. Hopefully, the next time I see y'all, it won't be for the live stream, but it'll be to say, "Hey, the Ravens officially." Traded for DeAndre Hopkins. Hopefully. But until then, like Lamar won't be since he signed a five-year contract, we out.